Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Every Heart Can Dance. My name is Kiro Duchenko and I'm a professional dance instructor from Vancouver, Canada. And this is not my typical teaching tutorial. I won't be showing you any technical aspects, figures or a choreography that you can follow. But please, please bear with me. Don't switch this video off yet. I'm sure it'll make it still interesting and quite valuable to you. Let me start by asking these two very simple questions. Why do you dance? Or why should people dance overall? I'm sure there'll be quite a variety of responses to these questions. For me, there's so much life in dance. What I mean by that, through dance, we can have much more aware, connected, meaningful, much more happier lives. Dance can be very therapeutic. And the most important thing is, we can have all of that not only during the moment of actual dancing. Let me explain that. Perhaps you all agree that the world that we're living in has started to change drastically over the last couple of years. Starting with the pandemic at first and now with the war in my home country of Ukraine, the world is not the same anymore. But the effects are still long lasting and definitely be ongoing throughout the world for quite some time. All of that coupled with the speed and amount of information that constantly being dropped over us is so vast, overwhelming and chaotic. Because of that, many of us feel stressed, tensed, restricted, isolated, more than ever before. Oftentimes, we're so focused on reacting to the outside world that we completely lose the feeling of our own selves. Or conversely, we're so stuck in our mind in negative pattern, either focusing on the past or the future, and we completely disregard the things, the mundane things that surround us that actually can make us much more grounded and happier but I'm sure we can break free from this vicious cycle. I think instead of searching for happiness outside of us or waiting for other people to make us instantly happier, I think the path to happiness is much more simple and is always within us. All we need to do is to become aware that mind and body is one and have some time to observe it. And dance and movement is the greatest tool to get that, to achieve that. Through dance, we can become much more connected and aware of our own selves and being able to experience and regulate our lives. You might ask, what is dance? Dance is not just music and movement together. Dance is a movement with feeling. So there is already connection there. Let me give you a couple examples. The first example I'll give you has to do with your weight. In dance, we focus a lot on feeling our weight and feeling how it moves. And it's extremely important in our daily lives. The more you'll be able to feel your weight, the more grounded you feel, and the less stressful, the less affected you will be by the stresses outside. You notice probably many times when you have stress and upset, you feel very, very tense, and you're losing the sensation of your weight. So the more you can go back into your body, feel your weight, the more grounded and more stronger you feel against everything that's being kind of bombarded onto you. Another example is paying attention to your body parts. Where do you feel the tension? Do you feel that you're still breathing? You can regulate your emotions by noticing that. Another one has to do with your posture. The more stronger, the more comfortable, the more confident your posture is, the more confident you feel as well. And the last one for now, and probably my most favorite, it has to do with the rhythm. Rhythm is everywhere around us. We have our internal body rhythm. We have rhythm in the environment that we're living in. We have rhythm in relationships with other people that we have, with our spouse, with our kids, with our family, with our friends, with our colleagues. There's different rhythm. And the more you are aware of that rhythm, the more you can adopt, the more you can adjust, the more you can be in balance and in sync with the way you are. You can regulate it. It's really, really cool. As you can see, there is so much life in dance and we can bring dance into life and become actually much more happier. As you can see, all these examples show that it's about convergence of mind and body into one and we can experience it in now, in the moment. For me, the happiness, the true happiness, is not to have no worries or no stresses. That's not possible and not very healthy either. It's about 
despite of what's happening around us, be grounded, be content, be free. And we do that through connecting to our body and being in the moment and letting it go through us. It becomes much more happier, much more meaningful experience, and hence much more happier too. And lastly, let me share with you something very important, probably the most important part of this video. I think the most effective, the most happiest and healthiest way of being is based on this sequence. Number one, we connect to our own selves. Number two, we connect to the space and environment that we are in. And number three, we connect to people that surround us. If we don't have number one, number two, number three will always will be incomplete. And dance or practicing dance, dancing can really help us with all three. It can allow us to practice it and use it in our daily lives. Here it is, guys. I was trying to not only provoke you to think why you're dancing, but also to offer you, to demonstrate you what dance can offer you. I hope you find it useful. Please let me know in the comments below if any of it resonated with you. Please share with me your dance story. I'll be more than happy to read it. Looking forward to see you next time. Please subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Maybe they will start dancing and hopefully starting to become more happier themselves. Looking forward to see you next time. Bye now.